Tonight, my focus is one of the hardest hit areas in Riverside County, from the Coachella Valley to Cathedral City, where there were some amazing and unusual rescues today. Skyfox above as Cathedral City firefighters rescue a woman in knee-high mud by way of an earth mover. The woman, one of 14 residents of a home care facility, trapped in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Hillary, all lifted to safety Monday, their neighborhood buried in mud. There's sinkholes back there. There's still standing mud of up to five feet. The fire department reports more than 40 rescues from Hillary in the last 24 hours. Looking ahead, neighbors can expect a lot of shoveling and the sounds of heavy equipment. A similar story played out in the Coachella Valley's Palm Desert, but instead of an earth mover, residents of the flooded Tri Palms Estates were rescued by boat. This woman, new to the neighborhood, devastated. It was very, very painful that I moved out here a year ago and, you know, I put a lot of money into making up my home to see it really just go to waste now. Nearby, drivers stuck in the muddy mess on Interstate 10. The eastbound lanes closed while Caltrans worked to clear the roadway near the Montgomery Avenue exit. Truck drivers caught in the backup. Mud all the way to a knee high. I've never seen it before. It's, it's kind of can you say amazing, but kind of scary. In La Quinta, homes, roads, and businesses feeling Hillary too. Workers arrived Monday to find Rock's firehouse grill flooded. Bartender Priscilla Colby worried about the future, given all they've already been through. It's costing us, you know. I mean, having to close, it's just hard with, with uh, the businesses these days. You know, they can't, they can't afford to stay open. Drone video shows the bigger picture. Gene Autry Trail washed out. Indian Canyon, the same. And Vista Chino also closed. It's easy to see why Riverside County proclaimed a state of emergency Monday. And the Riverside County Board of Supervisors is expected to ratify that emergency proclamation at its board meeting next week. And once that happens, that will shore up more money from the state and federal government to help with the cleanup response. Because as you can see, it is widespread in Riverside County.